Uh, I figured I'd try something new. I'm gonna do some commentary over this video uh, just so you guys can kind of hear me talk about what I'm doing instead of just watching it and trying to piece it together. So enjoy the video. Alright, so here I'm just removing all the plastic bags. I thought they'd keep a majority of the moisture out. So now I'm just breaking open the first brake line. Uh, here in a second you're going to see me press a board up against the uh, brake pedal. It's going to keep it pressed down so all the fluid doesn't drain out of the reservoir. I actually learned this trick from Eric the Car Guy. So thank you Eric the Car Guy if you're watching this ever. That should work. Alright so here I'm just breaking loose the uh, bolts that hold the caliper mount to the axle housing. Alright, so these caliper mounts use a hex style bolt, and I don't have any hex, I don't have one that's that big, so I gotta use some vice grips. Oh, there's some channel locks now. Here in a second, I actually discover a hex bit instead of using the channel locks. Alright, so I have this bit. Let's see if that'll work. Fuck yeah. God. Damn. So it actually helped to take the caliper off before I remove the bracket. It comes off with ease. There's the last nut and bolt holding the caliper mount. Doing the same thing on this side. Breaking all the bolts loose. Taking the caliper bolts out first, and then removing the brake line. Taking the caliper off, followed by taking off the rotor, as you'll see here in a second. Then I take off the bracket. Mount. All right, so now I'm doing the fronts, starting with breaking the brake line loose. It's extremely difficult to get to the uh, caliper mount bolts because I had the steering wheel turned to the right and I guess I was just too lazy to turn it back. Damn. Doing the same thing on the driver's side. This side was a lot easier, obviously, because I have more room to access it. Now I'm taking off the mud flaps. I'm probably going to clean those up and I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'll probably just clean them up. Alright, so I'm going to start by connecting the negative battery terminal. I'm going to take out that EFI 15 amp fuse. Ugh, fucking rod knot. And it's out. So technically, the fuel line should be purged. I don't know if that actually did that, though. Looking back. There's three screws that hold on this access panel. And I'm just getting everything disconnected. That stuff works awesome. 
undoing the filler neck and the breather tube. Alright, so now I'm just breaking loose the main fuel line. Alright, so I just used some paint to help me identify down the road which line goes to which port on the sending unit. Taking the lines off. So there are six bolts on each side of the fuel tank. I'm hold this thing up. I got a jack supporting it. fuel into these empty milk jugs and actually uh, was able to use this fuel in the 240 in the background right there. So yeah, stay tuned for the next episode of Restore the Four. If you guys like this commentary, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.